hello again uh, traders and welcome back welcome back uh, what I'd like to do is take you through the uh, trading for the 27th of January 2009 the day after Australia Day now uh, right after the uh, session started we had this uh, absolutely textbook buy signal pop up now the interesting thing everything was good to go on my first momentum indicator as we refer to M1 M2 it was not so I, I actually had to be patient and stay out of this trade as it turns out it did pay three points but we weren't in it we weren't in it now you'll note with interest we did have a mixed bias tonight which means we're literally uh, being very tight with our stops and also uh, very very um, pessimistic with our target so we're holding our three-point target for uh, for most of our signals now in this case here we did have a uh, we did have a really nice setup to take the index south uh, as you can see big sell signal came in here uh, and again we were chasing three points got to three and a quarter so uh, everybody that was chasing those three points would have been paid quite happily now couldn't actually get the volatility I required to go uh, and take this index back the other way so yep I did miss out on a three point run back up but uh, am I concerned by that? Absolutely not, because again, it's not long. We're not long out of the market before we get a uh, before we get a second one. As it turns out, uh, the second sell signal did confirm. I was only after two points on that one. I had to be patient. I had to wait till all the way over here to get my two points, noting that it did run on to six and a half points, which was which is a fair bit, <laughs> a fair bit. Six and a half points, five percent per point is thirty two and a half percent return just on that one sell signal. But either way, we got our two points, we were quite happy, and then on the way down, we actually got a continuation sell signal, which produced a, another two points. Now, if I, uh, if I bring up the, uh, the next, uh, the next uh, session, or in fact, the end of session, you'll, you'll note that we actually went sideways, and that was a little bit annoying. Now, uh, what, what, what happened to the sideways motion? Don't know. We got stuck in this three-point trading range here, and again, we, uh, we picked up some great little signals, this little buy signal here and this little buy signal here but ultimately neither of them paid their full profit target in fact you can see that this first buy signal did go up to one and a quarter points before actually coming against us we got a second one went up to one and a half points before both of them went against us and in fact at one point in time the first buy signal almost activated its stop loss in fact the stop loss at that point uh, we were sitting on three points it went two and a half against us Either way, uh, we didn't get anything towards the end of the session. I literally declared the end of the session shortly after, uh, shortly after I should have. What was I waiting for? Just simply seeing if the buyers could come in one more time and make a run up. As it turns out, and as you can see by the notes here, that failed. And as a result, out of both of those trades, I only got one point worth of profit. So a little bit frustrating at the end of the session, but uh, but that's the way trading goes. So even with uh, a little bit of a dismal end with that one point uh, with that one point profit, we ultimately ended up with seven points for the night. Um, pretty quiet night, seven points, but that was a 35% return. Uh, 35%. Uh, now, of course, there was a lot more up for grabs on that big sell signal, but ultimately I got 35, quite happy with that. Again, uh, a 10 contract trader, and there's quite a few of you out there. 10 contract traders should have returned around about three and a half thousand US dollars for that trading session. How did we get that 35% return? of $10,000. So enough from me, pretty flat Tuesday, really excited about what Wednesday is going to bring. We'll, uh, we'll go and have a look and, uh, and I'll update you tomorrow night on how Wednesday's trading has gone. Again, have a great day, stay safe and, uh, and bye for now.